Would you be able to do hero pick up locations? What happens in the DLC? Hero pick up locations video. Hero pick up locations. Hey, hero pick up locations. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Okay guys, so it's been a long, long time since you've seen a hero pick up locations from me. We're going old school. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you as many hero pickup locations as possible on Scarif Beach. Now, because this map isn't very big, there's a high concentration of hero pickups in a small area. So it's key that you guys know where you're going to grab hold of them. So I'm going to start out with the Rebels. Now, when you're the Rebels, you spawn underneath these stairs. Now, there's multiple hero pickup locations in front of you when you spawn. So what I'd suggest is you run from underneath the stairs. You quickly check to your left because sometimes a hero pickup can spawn there. However, if the hero pickup hasn't spawned, you need to boost up and scan the area whilst you're in the air because there are hero pickup locations here here and here now all of these three are within your vicinity now it is a little bit of luck when you first start which way you're boosting now let's say you boost and there's nothing immediately close to you or underneath you within your jetpack range what you want to do is run to the left now it's a 50 50 at the beginning of the game because they can spawn to your right or to your left you've just got to take that chance now when you do run to the left there is a hero pickup location just in front of this tank now the next location is actually just to the left of the one you've just seen it's kind of hidden within the bushes so make sure you keep an eye out for that one now if none of those locations pop up what you want to do is keep running towards the bridge now a tip for you guys is you need to be careful, possibly have a shield equipped because this is where the Imperials will be going as well. A lot of the locations I'll be showing you today do apply to like both the Imperials and the Rebels because it's such a small map. Now as I said previously, when you first boost, hero pickups can spawn to your right as well. So what you need to do is make sure you glance that way. The reason being is because there are two hero pickups just to the right of the map. One's just near this tree and the other one's just in front of it inside the crater. So make sure you keep your eye out for those two. Now if you're really lucky, sometimes the hero pickup can spawn literally right in front of you. However, that is kind of a bit of a free for all because it's so close and everyone can see it. So what I'd recommend is just make sure you boost and be as accurate as possible with your jetpack. Right, so that's pretty much the Rebels for the first half of the map. Now I need to show you guys the Imperials for that that first section. Now every time I do these videos I do say very frequent <laughs> every time I do these videos I do say very frequently that both the hero pickup locations apply to both sides. This is especially relevant with this map due to the fact it's so small. So when you guys spawn in as the Imperials the same thing applies. What you want to do is just boost straight forward towards that bridge. Oh. Because there's a lot of foliage on this map, I would recommend using it as cover to get those hero pickups. So here you might encounter some conflict, so again I'll reiterate, you need to have a shield equipped if you want to get hero pickups consistently on this map. Now the same thing applies with the Imperial, so once you've boosted from spawn, there's a high concentration of hero pickups. Now the way in which you want to go about it as the Imperials is sticking around the bridge and also sticking near the first uplink. Now dependent on your team's playing style, whether they're quite aggressive or not, you could be playing in the Rebel field, which means you could be getting exposed to their pickups as well, so you have a high chance of getting pickups dependent on the way your team's playing. So let's say you spawn quite far back and decide to boost to the right uplink. There's only one hero pickup that I've found there. Now it comes at a bit of a disadvantage because it's right next to the Rebel spawn, however, it might not spawn there straight away, so the Rebels could have pushed to the other uplink, giving you the opportunity to grab it. So I think this location kind of applies very much so to the Rebels, as well as the Imperials, so just keep an eye out for that one as well. Now there's another way in which you can go about getting hero pickups as the Imperials from spawn. So instead of boosting straight towards the foliage on the right side of the bridge, you can actually run around the back of the uplink on the left. That provides you with a bit more solid cover. Now this exposes you to those two hero pickups that I showed and talked to you about earlier for the Rebels. The one that's in the crater and the one that's near that tree. So that's another way in which you can go about doing it at the beginning of the game. Also another way in which you can heighten the probability you're going to get a hero pickup is by playing near the uplinks because that's where they seem to have the highest concentration. Now as I've said in previous hero pickup location videos, you guys need to watch out for when the uplink is changing or the next section of the game mode you're playing is about to flip over. The reason being everyone will be engaged in battle and you can actually go and wait for the hero pickups in the locations that you know or position yourself to know that you've got the highest probability of grabbing one. Alright guys, so we're going to move on to the next section of the map for the rebels. As you can see from this bird's eye view, there are a high concentration of hero pickups on the right side and on the left side. So what I'd recommend is you position yourself right in the middle so you've got space to jetpack towards the hero pickup. Now the first one I'm going to be showing you is right in the middle and it spawns here. I have to remember that rebels are going to be spawning all around if they keep dying behind the hero pickup line, so it's very easy for them to run straight into it, so you've got to be very, very quick. Now the next location is just to the right of this one. So if you run on the right flank of the uplink, you'll be able to see it. it's kind of near that fallen debris uh, on the beach. So keep an eye out for that one. Typical catchphrase from me when I'm doing these videos. Now the third location on the right side of that diagram is near the uplink. So that means you might have to battle it out and there'll be a lot of people around the area so the probability of you grabbing the hero pickup there might be a bit low. But at least you know where it is now. 
Now for the high concentration of pickups on the left side, they're very close to the uplink also. As you can see on screen, the hero pickup is right next to the uplink on that pathway. So if you position yourself correctly when the uplinks are changing, you can actually boost to the left and grab yourself that hero pickup. Now the next hero pickup is actually slightly further down that pathway. What you want to do is run straight down it and then check to your left. It's kind of hidden, so it's a good location to know. Also, a little tip for you, if you're playing on the uplink that's furthest away, you can actually boost round the back and then you can approach all of these pickups from behind. So it's just kind of like heightening the probability of you getting the pickup by the way in which you play. The third and final pickup for the Rebels is further round to the right on the beach. I reiterate, if you're jumping from the uplink on the left side, then you expose yourself to three potential hero pickups on the way through. So that's pretty much all the hero pickup locations you need to know for the Rebels at the end section of that game. Now I'm going to be showing you the Imperials. The first one for the Imperials in the second half of the game spawns just to the right side. Let's put this in perspective, it's actually parallel to the one that I showed you that was down that pathway. It's just in front of it. Now the next location is actually just in front of the one I just showed you. It's actually located underneath the TIE Strikers, as you can see on screen. Now there's two ways in which you can go about getting this. You can actually just sprint to it or you can jetpack over and grab it as well. So make sure you keep an eye out for that one, as I say again, of course. Now if you remember earlier, I was showing you guys those three locations that were next to the uplink for the Rebels. Now of course these apply to the Imperials as well. So if you boost around the back of the Rebel spawn, you can expose yourself to those hero locations as an Imperial. Now, this one that I'm showing you on screen is extremely well hidden, like within the bushes and all that jazz. So keep your eyes peeled, man. Again, I just want to emphasize how it is very much based on the style of your play. Now, I would recommend, if you can, to play aggressive as possible on this map. By doing that, the probability of you getting a pickup is much higher. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully, this has helped you out and will allow you to get hero pickups a lot more frequently. I'm also thinking to do a How to Get Hero Every Game version 2 because a lot of things have changed in Battlefront since I did that video. There's a video that kind of generalizes the way in which you can go about getting pickups on all the maps. So, yeah, that's pretty much it from me. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. Hit that thumbs up button if you have. Subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you guys on the next video.